you guys can tell by the title we are planning a wedding a wedding like we're actually having a wedding he belongs to me a lot of you guys might not know, some of you may know, me and Taji ended up just eloping basically right before we closed on our house. I was tired of waiting for him to find the most elaborate way to ask me to marry him. He was stressed out. I was like, I really don't care how you ask me. It's just the fact of like you asking me. And he was like, you know, I want you to be my wife. You know that we're going to get married. So why not just go to the courthouse and make it official? And I was like, you made me on to something, baby. So that's exactly what we did. We went to the courthouse, did our little 15 minute little thing. And then we walked out there married. And I, growing up, never, ever, 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 like never in a million years, really thought that I was going to like be married with kids. Like I knew I wanted to get married because everyone wants to get married someday, but I would never the type to literally fantasize about how I wanted my wedding to be and all that jazz. Like that's just not me. That was never me. And so now the fact that I'm planning a wedding is kind of surreal. I kind of can't believe that it's actually happening. And it's also kind of stressing me out because I literally don't know what kind of wedding I want. Like I have a, like an idea of little things that go into the wedding, but like as far as a whole plan, a whole theme, colors, I don't got you. Me and Taji went to like pre-K, kindergarten, first grade together. And then our school shut down after first grade going to second. So we both like went our separate ways. Our parents never kept in touch or anything like that. So. I found him on Facebook in like middle school. I want to say like seventh, eighth grade. And I was in private school and the private school I went to did not have a lot of black people. So I obviously was like trying to figure myself out. Everybody's getting a boyfriend and I'm just here because there was no one at my school for me to date. So we connected through a mutual friend and he thought I was literally like batshit crazy guys like he was like how did you find me this is so random like I remember you but like ew and your girl hadn't gone through puberty yet so like I wasn't working with much we tried in high school to date he moved to Philly and I was like this is not gonna work like I need my first real boyfriend to actually be here to be like a real boyfriend so then I got my first real boyfriend and we didn't talk went to college he went to the army and he would like send me cute things here and there like hey hope you're doing well thinking about you blah blah, blah. and i was like oh okay i'm in college i'm not paying this man no mind i'm living my best life it was i vividly remember this guys and it's so crazy how vividly i remember this i had like was preparing for my final art exhibition in college, I was a photography major. And so part of being a fine arts major, you have to have a final show. Like you have to create a whole body of work, put it on in a museum, present it everything to literally get your degree. Um, I guess it's like capstone for regular people who have regular degrees. I don't know, cause I didn't have a regular degree. <laughs> and I posted on Snapchat, and he sent me the longest, most heartfelt message you would have thought we'd been in touch for for years. I hadn't talked to that man since since I graduated high school. So he literally was like, I'm so proud of you. You've come such a long way. You are so deserving of this. Everything looks so beautiful. I know you put everything you had into this and I hope you're doing amazing. And I was like, I was like, wow, he's really been paying attention all the way in Korea. <laughs> and it just took me aback because I was like, I was telling my friends, like I haven't talked to him since high school. Like this is so out of thin air for him to send me a message like this. And I was like, okay. So we would exchange messages here and there. And then I was going home, like going back home, moving out of my apartment to move back in with my parents to figure out what I was gonna do with the rest of my life. And he was like, oh, I'm, I came home too. I'm at my mom's house, like whenever you want, you can just like swing by and we can catch up. He had a Husky at the time, Thor, and I was like, I really wanna see your dog. So I swung by 
that was probably July 2019 and we have not split up since. Like we were inseparable from that day forward. And look at us now. We locked in. We locked in. My ring is crooked. We locked in. So from July 2019, I literally spent every single day with him. As soon as we got off work, we were together. From like 5 p.m. or 7 p.m. to 2, 3, 4 in the morning. I am married. I am a Vincent. <laughs> I am a Vincent. And now we are going to have a Vincent wedding. I wanted to start this series so that I could take you guys along with me on this little journey. And I didn't want to have to pack it into like my regular vlog or home diaries because I just feel like it would be too much going on. So it's the wedding diaries. Welcome to the wedding diaries, guys. Buckle in because we we are in for a ride. Taking measurements for my Measuring with heels. I don't know what heels I'm wearing in my dress, but longer dress is better than shorter dress, right? So I should go with the tallest heels I have, which are these. I think these are four and a half. Save the dates in. Anything. Read that. Shout out to Morgan at Reverie Press for doing our save the dates. I think you need the box cut again. Wait, I think I got it. different. Without my government, I'm going to leave Morgan's information down below. I found her on Etsy because I knew I wanted, I knew I wanted something handmade. I knew I wanted something neutral to match, obviously, the color scheme of the wedding without giving too much away. And I knew I wanted something that was done with letterpress. And it was even better that she uses handmade paper, which is why they look the way they look. And I'm super happy with how they turned out. They're perfect. I gotta send these to my mom. We did my measurements for my dress, which I also found a custom designer on Etsy that I'm doing my dress by. And of course, if I need to, I can do alterations once it gets here. But I, again, had a distinct idea in my mind of what I wanted my wedding dress to look like after thinking really hard of what wedding dress I wanted and I knew I didn't want anything I'd seen before I wanted something vintage feeling 90s feeling drapey like enhancing my my body type but not like too much like I didn't want to super tight mermaid mermaid tail long dress like i've surpassed that phase of my life where i want everything to be skin tight i mean sometimes i still have my moments but i wanted something like long drapey elegant like ooh, like she just stepped out of a vintage magazine
Thursday we have two meetings, two Zoom meetings, hence why it looks somewhat presentable. Um, one is with the bar people to discuss a custom bar package because like I don't want to just do all hard liquor and I also don't want to do all wine. Like I want to have some fun. I want to mix and match and it wasn't giving the ones that they already have curated. So I'm going to discuss with them the most important ones being Tito's for me and Jack for Taji. And then we're also meeting with our potential wedding coordinator. I'm trying to get a feel for if I like her vibe or not. Plus if she's black, we we are always rooting for everyone black so hopefully we vibe hopefully she sees my vision the theme words for my wedding that i have figured out is literally drapey and vintage which never thought those two words to go together when i ever thought about having a wedding but to be honest like i said in the intro i never really pictured myself having that grand of a wedding so like i'm trying to like process all of this <laughs> Um, send in measurements for my dress as we already saw and I can't wait to get that message that it is finally complete and I'm super excited for that. I showed you guys to save the dates. We need to plan to book a photo studio to take our announce announcement pictures to go on our wedding website and like whatever else I want to use them for. But the dress that I wanted to get is sold out. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen this dress everywhere. It Meshki literally released it like last month and I should have bought it when I first saw it, but I didn't. And so now I have to find a plan B or wait to see if it comes back in stock before the deadline that my mom has given me because she's taking wedding momager to a whole new level to say that she has been annoying me with the amount of tasks she's tasked me to do on the daily basis would be an understatement. But I understand that everything has to be done in a timely manner. We have found our DJ, also black, a huge plus, and we've been trying to decide on when we wanna have our ceremony. And I just like, I want to have like a sunset ceremony with candles because I can't have candles inside of where my wedding reception is being held. Open flame, obviously just a safety precaution, but my mood board has candles and I think it would be the most beautiful thing, especially with like the themes, vintage drapey, having a candle lit ceremony. I think that would be so beautiful. Are you inviting children or anyone under the age of 21? Not to the reception, they're not allowed. Adults only? Yes. <laughs> We have a party. <laughs> My previous Zoom was adults only too, and I'm just getting excited because kids just changed the whole dynamic. We yeah. love adults only. I have two kids at home, and I'm like, yeah, they have to leave after we're done. Yeah. Good hey, girl, good for you. <laughs> I will be very honest with you. If the party is important to, to you, it's a very short reception. So I saw on your included form that you were looking at the possible design day um, package. Did you have a chance to look over the lookbook that our office manager sent over? Yes, I did. I did get to talk. So and is that design and day still something that's catching your eye? I know we definitely have to have day of. Um, I like kind of have an idea of what I want, but like not really. So anything would be helpful. Absolutely. So what I can go ahead and do is kind of break down that design day package a little bit more in detail for okay. you and then we can go from there. Okay. I just finished my call. Okay. And I did not like her. Okay. I'm kidding. I loved her. She's amazing. Here's the problem that you're not going to like, mother. I want to do the design package. What is that? That's the one where literally I can just sit, like literally she was like, if you see, if you just want to dissect TikToks, I said, yep, this is my girl right here. We need to go with Sage. I literally will not have to do anything. Like all the questions you've been asking me, 
Sage got it. I ain't gotta worry about anything. And that's what I wanna do. I just wanna be able to send her my Pinterest, my TikToks, and she go from there. She literally said they have their whole vendor list. I don't have to find a florist. She'll literally go and go to these appointments, FaceTime me, like literally, my hands, like literally my hands will be like this because I don't have to touch anything. Only problem is I know it's extra money, but like this is the one thing I know for sure that I would like. Leave it close to me, a boy is mine.